Hello there. Welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we'll be looking at how you can manage your orders and your inventory on your Instamojo online store. If you don't already have an Instamojo premium online store or you'd like to set up one, check the description for a link to a full tutorial explaining how you can get started. It's a complete guide to help you set up your own online store and build your business online. Usually, small businesses that don't have their own website or online store use Google Sheets, WhatsApp and a payment method like UPI to manage their orders manually. Why do e-commerce the old-fashioned way, when you can do all that and more from one single platform without much investment? The Instamojo online stores come loaded with e-commerce features to help any type of business collect payments, manage orders and inventory and even get paid. In this video, we'll show you how the orders section of the Instamojo online store allows you to manage product-wise orders, export order details, filter orders by order details and payment status. Let's get started. Log into your Instamojo online store and access your dashboard. This is what your dashboard looks like. All the sections of the store are accessible from the left hand side pane here. What we'll be looking at today is the orders section under the online store option over here. Go ahead and simply click on the orders button. Once you've done that, you'll arrive at this window where you can manage all your orders. The filters that you can search for specific orders are with the order ID, the buyer name or the buyer email. Additional filters include the order status, whether you'd like to look at an order that's still being processed, dispatched, completed, cancelled, etc. Further, you have payment related filters, which will help you narrow it down further to look at orders for which the payment has been received, refunded or if it's cash on delivery. If you'd like to see order related details about a specific product, you could type in the product name here to view all related information. You could also select a custom date range to view all orders related transactions in that particular period as well. And if you think you've applied too many filters, you can just go ahead and reset them and clear filters from this section over here and everything will be reset. It's really that simple and easy to navigate your orders regardless of your inventory size. As you just saw, there are plenty of options made available to you to help you manage your inventory better. I hope this was helpful. Please post any questions you may have in the comment section below. See you in the next video.